Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa. Well, as Charmaine and I were talking about in that first segment, a lot of people finding it very difficult, uh, particularly with the rise of inflation. When we talk food inflation and, and fuel, the rising costs of, of everything across the board. So there's more and more people that are in need in our community. And uh, my next guest and his team have done just a, a wonderful job helping those in the Barhaven community and beyond. I am joined by the president of the Barhaven Food Cupboard, George McDonald. George, welcome. Great to have you Good here. Good afternoon, Dirk. Uh, it's nice to have you here. We, we came to visit you last time you and I saw when we were when we were doing a, another show during the pandemic um, let's talk about that need I'm sure you've seen an increase in your community George it's it's quite unprecedented um, from if you measure all the orders the, the regular clients that we have coming to the food cupboard this year the months from uh, January to October compared to the same months last year is a 45 percent increase Wow now it was a bit bit higher during the pandemic, but 45% right. is, and I think that's being experienced by most food banks across Canada. Yeah, and actually that, uh, th th those uh, numbers came out just a, just a couple of months ago, and uh, we had Food Banks Canada on the show, and, and they were saying, yeah, it doesn't matter what community you go to, those, those numbers continue to be the same. And inflation just doesn't impact, of course, those that are in need of your services. It impacts the services themselves, doesn't it? It impacts us all, really. Uh, I, th I think a lot of the demand is because of inflation. You know, the, our clients are those that kind of live on the edge and inflation has kind of pushed them over. They don't have money for, you know, rent and food and everything else that you need to, uh, to survive. Uh, but it impacts our own volunteers. But also, it's kind of a double whammy for us because we have to provide more food. Right. But the food is at a higher cost as well. So it uh, it's increases the number of resources that we need to do what we do. Do you, do you, um, I, I know the Ottawa Food Bank, they've, they've you know, formed partnerships uh, that, that they work with, with different companies. Do you, do you have the same with, with the Barhaven Food Company? We, we are independent of the Ottawa Food Bank. Yes. They do great work. Yeah. We work within Barhaven. We have a lot of corporate partners that, uh, that help us. Excellent. I mean, individuals, churches, organizations, schools, businesses, they all contribute. And it's really a, a neighbors helping neighbors, as I see. see yeah, on my, I love, on my I love volunteer this shirt. I'm glad you brought that along. So. And speaking of volunteers, this is completely volunteer driven. Uh, let's give a shout out first of all to that great team that, it that is. you we work have, with. We have 80 volunteers that do the, the everyday stuff, delivering food, sorting it, receiving it, putting it on the shelves, meeting our clients, arranging interviews. I mean, all those things are done by about 80 volunteers that are very passionate yeah. about what they do. I mean, it really is a feel good thing to do to help people who are in need just to find enough food to, to feed their families. George, you mentioned delivery. I, I, perhaps some people that are watching and living in Barhaven, they, didn't real, they, they don't realize that you provide that service. Um, who do you deliver to? We only, we only deliver to a small proportion of our clients, okay. those normally that don't have any, any vehicle of their own, right. disabled people, uh, people that are shut in, single parents, that sort of thing. We encourage people to come to the food cupboard to get their food order so they can choose exactly what they want for their family. Otherwise, they get sort of a standard order. But, uh, um, that brings me to the hamper program. You, you've got a hamper program going on right now. Tell me about it. Three years ago, we gave out 200 hampers. Two okay. years, 300 hampers. Last year, 340. This year, we just, we're just blowing through 450. Really? We have, uh, we're giving out physical hampers and a gift card to go with them. Uh, we're assembling them tomorrow, hopefully with the weather. <laughs> yeah, oh, no kidding. And yeah. delivering them on, on Saturday. So we will, um, people have registered for hampers. We've got all their addresses and names and so on. And we have a team of 36 drivers who are going to wow. take hampers out to people in the Barhaven community. Hopefully get it all done on Saturday to these 400 plus, 450 plus people. Well, what do the hampers consist of, George? We have sort of a basic um, uh, amount of food that comes in two boxes donated by Amazon that um, uh, contain all sort of potatoes and apples and carrots and uh, different canned goods and so on, peanut butters, and then the gift card is to supplement that right. with the turkey or or whatever else that they would want over and above sort of the basic thing that we have. Um, you know, we mentioned that great volunteer team that you have. You know, those eighty regulars, but I, I'm sure you're always looking for volunteers. What sort of opportunities are, are available at the? We are Barhaven the best thing to do to um, to learn about it is just to go to our website barhavenfoodcupboard.ca. Uh, we have a list of people that have signed up for various things. Some of them we don't have positions for just yet. Some of them are sort of uh, for a short time or on-call kind of things. 
Um, but we're always looking for new volunteers to either greet our clients, to help stock the shelves, to help get pick up food from grocery stores, right. uh, all the things that we do. And because of that demand, the volunteer demand has gone up as well as you yeah, can imagine. Understandable. Uh, where do your donations come from? Is it all private donations, or did you get any funding from any level of government at all? Uh, we have not. No, okay. we, we, we depend entirely on the Barhaven community. Having said that, um, for the first year we're operating on a bit of a deficit, so we started okay. a grant writing program, and uh, we'll hopefully receive enough to be able to continue what we're doing on a sustainable basis. It's yeah, and that grant writing, uh, it, it's its quite a process. It's not sort of an is. overnight thing, so hats off to you and your team, because I, I, I've gone through that process myself with a foundation that I've worked with, and it's, uh, it's a lot of work. Um, speaking on that, why did you want to get involved specifically with the, the Barhaven Food Cupboard? The Barhaven Food Cupboard used to be in the basement of the Barhaven United Church. I remember, I yeah. Was, I was affiliated with the church at the time when the Barhaven Food Cupboard was thinking of building a new building on the church property. That proved to be way too expensive for, for what we were going to do, so okay. we relocated to the Walter Baker Center in a, in a spot that we leased from the city. But it's something that um, kind of intrigued me. It's, it was obviously something that I think the community really needs, despite the fact that we live in an affluent uh, city mm -hmm. and affluent neighborhoods. There are people in the community that, that are really stretched, and it's something that we're not solving the big problem of poverty in Canada, but we're addressing one of the symptoms that will hopefully help people keep their fingers on the ledge. Yeah, and I'm glad you mentioned that, George, because I think when a lot of people, you know, think of Barhaven, they don't necessarily think that, oh, you know, uh, there's a there's a big need down there. You know, most of our attention sort of is on Centertown and, you know, Sandy Hill and in those areas, but it's just as important there as it is in Barhaven as it, as it is in Canada, right? Absolutely. It, it's, a, it's surprising sometimes to some people, but... We hope to increase awareness, not only for soliciting donations to the Barhaven Food Cupboard, but awareness to people who, to, to learn about us and to know that they can come to us without any stigma or uh, be treated with self-respect and, and dignity as they come to us and collect their food order. Yeah, so incredibly important. Uh, George, really appreciate your time today. Thanks so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thank you. All right. And Happy holidays to and you to and you your well. team and your, and, and your entire family. Uh, don't go away. I'm going to introduce you to a wonderful local actor coming up right after this.